Hi there, my name's Sarah and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in the UK. Thank you for joining me. Welcome to Top Tips Tuesday. Today I'm going to discuss about card bases, mats and layering. Right, now to begin with, obviously we cut our card bases from an A4 stock of card. Card stock, which I don't know if you know, but the measurements are in the UK. They measure, got a bit of a dirt bit on there. They measure 297 millimetres by 210. So it's 297 millimetres across the top. 210 this way right so in order to get our card bases we can actually get two of our a6 card bases out of one sheet and there's two ways you can do it you can either cut down that way or you can cut down that way obviously and i'll show you in a minute and so um yeah let's start with that first so and then i'll explain about measurements so i'll just show you how to do that so so yeah, we've either got I'll just show you, we've got either a landscape type of card, like you can open that way, or that way is I think it's called a tent fold, but you can so you can stand the card up like that. So you've got two ways of displaying that, which is quite handy. This one saying you can just open it like a normal card, like that, or you can display it like that, have it that way open. So you kind of get four uses out of it, so which is good. Yeah, when we do our card stock, we can score first. That saves a little bit of time. So this one, I'll explain all about measurements in a minute, how we work at measurements, but we basically go at 105, for anybody who doesn't know anyway. I'm sure perhaps you all know, but I'm just going to explain the maths behind it, how we get to our measurements. So we score there first a couple of times, and then all we have to do is cut at 148. 0.5 it should be but we don't have to worry too much about the 0.5 and then and then we just cut down uh, I'll show you I'll do another card first and then I'll show you them fold. so then we change it around and this time we score at 148.5 but if you can see yeah our measurements are on the top you can't see it it's, so we're going to 148.5 which is there you can even because we use this so often this measurement you can mark you can put a mark there or you could put a mark up there on your cutter if you want to say so, because it's a, a, me a measurement you will be using all the time so we're going to score down there and then this time we're going to cut 105 rather than score on it that way so hopefully you can see Holding that there. And that creates your different fold. So I'll just do away with that. I haven't got my bone folder. Just a quick tip the bump always falls inwards. So you've scored there, down there, if you can see. That's where we've scored. And so you get a little bumpy bit. Put the bumpy bit inside. And then, so yeah, and then you would get your bone folder. I'm just using the. You don't need just to prove you can. Any anything will work really. That's um got a good edge to it. I think a ruler might be a little bit harsh, but you could try a ruler. So there's that one. We've got two of those. Bump inwards. Proven that you can improvise if you don't have a bone folder. So that's your portrait, sorry, that's your landscape ones. And then the other ones which we scored differently in. And that's how we make our card bases. So now I'm just going to quickly explain the maths behind it or the, the workings out, the measurements basically. So if you can see these so an a4 sheet measures 297 times 210 millimeters or if you want 29.7 centimeters 21 centimeters because you've got 10 millimeters in a set in a centimeter half a sheet so half a sheet that way would be 210 millimeters still across there but along here it'd be 148.5 so I hope that makes sense. 
you don't really need to know this I'm just trying to show you how, how we get to the measurements a quarter of a sheet so basically if we want uh, our card layers for the front of our cards like this these are our card layers you can actually get four of those out of an A4 sheet but with a little bit of excess as well a little bit extra because obviously you want your mats just slightly smaller than your card bases and so that is where was I so yep did I say a half a sheet and a quarter of a sheet would be 148.5 and then half that again would be 105 millimeters but in order to make our mats we go a little bit smaller so I always take five millimeters off so just to show you on here to get a mat our first mat I would do 143 I ignore the five the 0.5 sorry ignore the 0.5 because it, it's such a small measurement so 143 by so we've taken five off that number there and we're taking five off there so 100 100 so we just just ignore the 0.5 that makes it easier so take five millimeters off the 148 and five millimeters off the 105 so you get 143 by 100 or 14.3 that's sorry that's millimeters and that's 14.3 times 10 centimeters it depends how you want to work it out but it's the same measurement it's just um so yeah here's one so this is one of my mats and layers one of my mats so it's 100 that way or 10 centimeters and 443 here I don't know if you can see that 143. So that then fits nicely on your card base, which is a quarter of a sheet, if you remember, is 100. And, sorry, no, that'd be half a sheet. Pardon, have we read that? 148 by 210. So, yeah, basically just to, so that measures 105 across. That measures 148.5, but we kind of ignore that. So, because we've now cut this at 143 by 100, it just fits in nicely. On your card layer on your card base sorry all right and then you can go a step further you can just make your card bases and card lay card mats not card bases sorry card mats just smaller now you can go in increments of five again uh, i don't know if i've got one. so if we did this one uh let's get my cutter so this one you could cut this is already cut 143 if we don't knock another five millimeters off, which is obviously 138, cut a little sliver off there, and instead of being 100 like it is already, we go at 95, and then that will fit nicely inside your mat layer like that and that's how so you can't see much of a difference in colour I'm just going to use darker colours but hopefully you can see that these colours coordinate very well together but yeah obviously you can use whatever colours you like for your project generally speaking whatever colours I've used on the mats and layers I would use for my stamping or vice versa whatever colours you're using for your stamping try and match it up with your mats and layers and that's where you get your great coordination from which obviously is very easy with Stampin' Up! products because everything matches and coordinates anyway. So there's that. And what else was I going to explain? So yeah, then your white layer, obviously your stamping layer, if you wanted to put another layer in there, you would make that another 5mm smaller. Or you don't have to go 5mm. If you go... Let's just grab a bit of... Yeah, I think that was thin. Right, this is thin card slots. I'm going to... So if we go smaller again, so go back to our paper. This is, this just helps you when you if you can't work out any hair, this just helps you. So we made one layer, 138 by 95. Sorry, you can't see. 138 by 95. That's a colour mat. Our white layer. Going to make not five millimeters let's go 135 so we're just taking three millimeters off so three off there three off there to make it even so 92 
and let's see what result we get with that. So there's no, it's not set in stone what you have to use at all. You can go with whatever you want to do with, go with. So we're going with 135. And 92. 92. Line up down here as well. And then you should get a nice, a very thin, fine border. Take it off for their sake. So as you can see, there's an obvious difference. But with this one, there will be a very, hopefully you can see that. You'll just get a very fine, fine difference, fine border. But so nothing's right or wrong. It's entirely up to you. You can make, you can go bigger than five millimeters if you like. That's not a problem either. It's it's down to the individual choice at the end of the day. So, and then just one quick thing I was going to show you. What I do. Um, let me show you in the right. If so, I was. I know I'm going to start be working with a new suite of products I like to get myself we're going to go with the snowflake splendor which is the new mini catalog and stamping up with kindly now made it even easier for us they do this lovely little color key here and basically that's all the colors that are in the designer series paper but it's all colors that will obviously all coordinate lovely together as well so you've got your Highland Heather, Thor Party, Coastal Cabana, Barmy Blue, Pacific Point, Misty Moonlight, Night of Navy and Whisper White obviously would go very well as well I think Whisper White's, yeah, Whisper White's actually in the paper. So what I do, generally, to get myself prepared, I prep myself a stack of cardstock. This is if I'm really organised. I don't do this all the time. So I've got my card bases done. A few, because I have been using those. And my white card stock. Card bases. Right? And then I've made some colour bases. So these, I've done some colour bases in all the colours. Instead of using white, I've done them all prepped ready as well in all the different colours. Yep, they're all card bases. And then I've done my mats and layering as well. So they all fit. You probably wouldn't put these colours together. Well, you might. So I've got myself already organised. But I can always cut them down more if I want to. But it, it just gives you a real head start. So you don't have a lot of faff in the back. You can just crack on and make some cards and... Another step further, this is what I do when I've got some spare time, which isn't often nowadays, but or when I don't feel like crafting, or just when I'm watching the TV maybe, I will sit and do a batch of all my, it's difficult to show in camera, so I've got all my card bases all done. So card blanks here, all ready to go, and then, yeah, I don't know if you can see, so I've got all my in colours, these are just the card mats. I put so they're in colours, neutrals, subtles, regals, brights. And I have them. Yeah, I do need to do some more because I haven't got all the, you can see I've got a lot of card bases, but not so many mats and layers, because obviously I use them all the time. That one's got a bit damaged, that's a card base anyway. So um yeah, it just really helps. Same with the DSP. You can see I've got that all organised as well in six by six. Cut it all up and it's all ready to go. And all in this all named in the suite. This is all the new, this is the main catalogue, yeah. I haven't done the, the new mini catalogue yet. But yeah, it just helps you to get a little bit organised and just to be ready to do some serious crafting. So I hope that helps you. Thank you very much for joining me and I'll see you next week. Thank you, bye.